So when it comes down to it, Jesus was a pretty all right guy. That's true whether he existed or not, atheist or no, I can admit that. You know, I'm not a big fan of Superman comics, but I can admit that Superman's a pretty all right guy. He's actually way more pretty all right than Jesus, but that's beside the point. By the standards of today, Jesus is a totally amoral jackass, but it's not fair to fault a historical figure for the immorality of his time. I mean, as long as you don't go claiming he's the divine incarnation of an omniscient being, you have to forgive him for not seeing 19 centuries ahead on things like gay rights, gender equality, and capital punishment. Hell, at least 50% of the major political parties in the U.S. haven't figured that shit out yet. So if you set aside all the Son of God shit, and you think of Jesus as an at least mostly fictitious guy with impeccable morals, a timeless message of universal love, and a scraggly hippie beard, it's pretty hard to find fault with him at all. If Christians were just people who applied the moral message of Jesus and set aside all the deific douchebaggery, it'd be really hard to bitch about him. But none of that matters. It's an academic argument because Christianity has nothing to do with the moral teachings of Jesus. They talk about him a lot, they sing songs about him, and they wear his murder weapon around their neck, but they've all but given up on the whole message. Sure, you can trot out a Christian that follows the examples of Christ most of the time, but I can trot out an atheist who does the same. And when I do, there's going to be two Christian ass danglers following behind him, yelling about how he's going to burn in hell. Sure, you can point to a humanitarian effort that was spurred on by Christians following the word of Christ, and I can show you a secular equivalent that's spurred on by common sense and a basic feeling of humanity. And when I do, they'll be the ones offering help to everybody, even if they don't swear allegiance to the right space wizard. Sure, you can point to a Christian influence in almost every great social movement in American history, but I can also point to a Christian influence in the opposition to every great social movement in American history. And when I do, it's going to be hard to ignore the fact that my group's 1,200 times bigger than yours. The truth is, Christianity is just a word, and Jesus is just a name. The modern American Christian doesn't worship anything about Jesus except his muscle tone. In fact, if you look at the issues that seem to enrage Christians, you could be forgiven for thinking that Christ spent most of his time talking about gun rights, abortion, condoms, stem cell research, capitalism, violent video games, masturbation, gays, pornography, and masturbating to gay pornography. Oh yeah, and something about feeding poor people to lions or something. I don't really remember. You think about it. You got this guy here, he's chocked full of good parables, forward-thinking morality, miraculous alcohol-making, and unassisted water skiing. They glaze over all this good shit, and they obsess over the 0.16% of the Bible that deals with their Savior getting brutally tortured to death. So what exactly did Jesus say about gays? Well, nothing, actually. He did say something about loving the least of God's children, but nothing about gays. What did Jesus have to say about the right to bear arms? Well, there were no guns at the time, but I seem to recall him being anti-stoning. What did Jesus have to say about capital punishment? Not really sure, but I'm willing to bet that towards the end of his life he was against it. What did Jesus have to say about video games and stem cell research? What do you think he had to say? They didn't fucking exist. But what did Jesus have to say about abortion? That's something that absolutely, positively, undeniably did exist way before Jesus ever reverse popped his mommy's hymen. Turns out he completely forgot to mention how against it he was. Luckily there were people like Pat Robertson there to pick up where Jesus left off. So you can talk about Jesus all you want, but don't invoke him when you're trying to justify your religion. Jesus doesn't need your dumbass religion to be a decent guy. I'm a big fan of Thoreau, but I don't need him to be the son of God, but actually God, but actually a wafer in order to follow his moral philosophy. In fact, I think it's about time we officially retire old Jesus altogether. He was kind of a pussy anyway. What modern Americans need is an ass-kicking, name-taken version of Jesus. They need a guy who would only turn the other cheek if he was setting up a spinning roundhouse kick. They need a karate Jesus that has a utility belt and banders well with supervillains. They need a nunchuck toting Jesus that ignores poor people, embraces trickle-down economics, hates fags, smokes Marlboro Reds, and always has a good one-liner before he takes out a motherfucker. In other words, they need an American Jesus. I mean, if you're going to completely ignore the moral underpinnings of your religion, why not go all the way?